Welcome back to Let's Play Overlord. Um, I'm going to choose my main aircraft, but uh, I think we haven't really heard about all the aircraft yet, specifically not really the Mustang, I think. So this remarkable American machine is capable of escorting Allied bombers all the way to Germany. Consequently, we don't get so many to play with over Normandy. Basically, the Mustang can do anything that the Spitfire can, but the difference is that it can do it for longer. Mustangs are therefore valuable, and so they're given only to experienced pilots. Sometimes your greatest risk is friendly fire, because the Mustang 3 looks rather too much like the Messerschmitt 109 with its square wings. And we've heard about the Typhoon before, but I think there was one rather crucial element that I kind of skipped over a bit too quickly. Um, and that's got to do with the way that the Typhoon is, yes, it's got some, it's hard to, difficult to handle on takeoff and landing and stuff. Um, uh, and yes, it's supposedly great at low altitude, but, um, the thing about it really is that in addition to those rockets that it can use to attack ground targets, it can take a lot of punishment. Machines have returned from combat with sizable pieces missing from the airframe. So that's why I'm going to choose the Typhoon, because the Spitfire is a fighter, the Mustang is a long-range fighter, but other than that, not that different from the Mustang. The Typhoon is a fighter bomber, and not only does it have rockets for which is going to be useful for ground attacks, but it's also far more resilient. Quite simply, it's when I play the Spitfire and the Mustang, it just feels frail in compared with uh, the Typhoon. And now we're still going to be able to to, to fly a uh, Spitfire every now and then. We can take tower missions to do that, but. We've chosen now the Typhoon to be a sort of main aircraft, so it's time to get today's briefing. And apparently there's not much happening at HQ today, but we can so we can plan our own rodeo mission. And uh, what should we look at first, Bill? Well, that gives me a neat opportunity to uh, look over, because you've heard the, the Overlord brief, but... Uh, you click the campaign status you get you can get uh, air intelligence and that's the activity of the enemy and we're supposed to concentrate on airfields defenses well coastal batteries are perhaps the most crucial thing and transport wise marshalling yards large marshalling yards are to be concentrated on uh, we can also get information on a wide range of targets, such as airfields, and you can see, as you know, since I've just started a new game, just beginning the campaign, all the airfields and all the uh, uh, radar stations and everything. It basically is. Um, sorry, I didn't mean to escape. Basically, the whole set of targets, they're all undamaged. Um, coastal batteries. Yeah, same thing. And we can click on them and get information about where it is on the map. Slightly land to the west of Kabul, or however you pronounce that. My guns at this location must be disabled before the evasion fleet can sail into range. It's heavily fortified, so attacking the light bombers is out of the question, apparently. And the other coastal batteries, like... This one overlooks Utah Beach, to the east of saint mary Glise. And same thing, must be... is heavily fortified, must be... taken up before the invasion fleet. Sails into range, of course. Uh, airfields. Uh, we've got one at Chartres. That's quite. 
on the south bank. Uh, that's quite far inland, I think. And all, all they are is fairly obvious what that is. Evreux, right? Borders the Cannes Paris Railway. Lots of anti aircraft. Let's just plan a route. And anyway, basically. <coughs> sorry. This is about where to. to. arrive first, and France. And we can start at Cherbourg, Caen, Le Havre, Dieppe, Bayeux, or Kabul. Um, I think you've already seen Shabul. That's I think I do believe that's where this sort of initial uh, scramble mission was. So let's do somewhere else. Let's start at Car, for example. And then if let's see, we fly to Evreux, for example, where there's apparently uh, there's an airfield, isn't there? Right. So crossing at Car, turning back for home at Evreux. Sweep along the Cherbourg to Paris and Rouen, lions should ruffle the Luftwaffe's feathers. No fewer than four Luftwaffe airfields on or near today's route. Caen, Beaumont, saint and everywhere. And tank squadrons are also marching east of Caen, and a concentration of trucks reported to the west of that city. So, we're going to be having two flights of typhoons. Supposedly, we approach low, then climb as you near the coastal turning point. And they're actually allocating two flights of Mustangs for this one to fly above and behind us. And aircrafts are going to be armed with rockets and cannons. No external fuel tanks. Alright. Fine. There's no gun camera film yet because we haven't filled any anything, but that's one of the things you can do in. in, in and or often could do in, in, in Rowan games. I think they were fairly early with that. You could sort of start. Um, filming things from your missions and, and playing off those videos later on. So, I've been, we've been taking, what, seven, eight minutes planning. I think it's time to, well, we should plan a little bit more, by the way. Hit the planning room. Because uh, this is where you set the sort of uh, difficulty, and difficulty will increase later on. Uh, right now, I'm most interested in getting the best detail I can, at least. Um, sounds, well the engine sound does give a little bit of immersion, but it's also very loud. We'll try to fly with the, the engines on for once. And then, you can see you can pick how soft, how tough the targets are, how many there are of them, apparently, I think. Most crucially, um... Well, vulnerability is on, otherwise you fly invulnerably. That's obviously downright cheating. There's another thing here that's more or less cheating, and that it's that essentially right now we've got unlimited arms. Um, that's very useful for me since I'm terrible at, uh, at aiming, so maybe I'll fly my very first mission with unlimited arms and then try and... Uh, change that later on. So we'll just take flight. We have permission to fly. Are we ready? I suppose so. Right, and I pressed enter and we get to see where the enemies are. I just... Oh, you can hear me revving up my engines. Let's see... Whoa, what was that already? Okay, they got shot down. That's cool. <laughs> Maybe our Mustangs uh, proved their worth now. Still think we should fly as fast as possible if we're going to aim head for those. Okay, the other enemies are farther away. So let's see if we can't. These fucker wolves. 
Oh, come on, how do you get out of that one? Alright, I think... Let's use the flaps and turn a little bit faster. I must have hit him, though, because his uh, landing gear came out. I don't think that was on purpose. Got him! Got him! Got him! Awesome! I think we just got... Oh! Awesome! 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 There are aircraft on the ground. Let's see if we can catch them on the ground. Let's also see if we can't uh, mess with one of those buildings. I think that's going to miss. Yeah, it missed. Yeah, I think we got two out of those three. Let's get an outside view again. Where are we? I think it's a... Oh, let's try and get back before they... Uh, Oh, my goodness, I want to see... Ah! Oh. Okay, uh... There it is. Ah, oh, what? What? Ha! Huh? What? No, it's still on the ground. But I can't sort of figure out... Okay, I'm too high up, I think. Okay, what was that? I think the Mustangs are in trouble. Given that I can't figure out where the juices they are, I think I'm gonna. What is that? It's an aircraft on the ground. <laughs> like I said, a lot of the sort of thing about this game is trying to figure out. Oh, my flaps are on. That's why my aircraft is behaving oddly. Also, turn off the fixed state. Um, I want an inside view, and for some reason, I can't get that. It must be okay. There's now a range of four miles, so it must be over in this area. How can it be? How can the range be increasing when it's ahead of me? Something very odd's going on here. Yeah, I, I must be flying the wrong way because the distance is increasing. This makes much more sense. So I'm turning back, and you can yeah, you can almost still see the smoke of the aircraft that I did hit on the ground there, can't you? Oh, come on. It's over there somewhere. I got maximum speed if I want it. It's down there somewhere, isn't it? Yeah, it's that one. There's two aircraft on fire, and there's one that isn't on fire. Let's see if we can use another rocket and take out some of those buildings as well, maybe. I think that's going to be a miss again. One more. And then if I miss this time, no, this time I hit it. So let's try. Oh. Come on. Yep. Okay, get, some, get up for it. Whew! I was a little bit too close to the ground, really. <laughs> but, uh... Alright. Let's head over there, then see what's actually there. Oh, really? No. What, what happened? Oh my goodness, my game crashed. Alright. I don't know what that was all about, but I guess you just saw me sort of... complete part of my first mission, at least. I got some, um... 
guess I got myself some uh, Fuck of Wolf 190, and <laughs> we'll see if we can get a more successful mission in, the, or uh, avoid a crash in the next video. Uh, it's odd though, it's never actually crashed on me um, when I'm not recording before, so that's a bit surprising. Oh well, I'll see you for the next video on another mission. Until then. <laughs>